The Hemp and Cannabis Fair is set to appear in Fairbanks on June 25th and 26th. David Spindler has the story. The Hemp and Cannabis Fair, or the THC Fair, will bring about local businesses, horticulture, and hemp-based products at the Town of Valley Fairgrounds. The event will focus on celebrating both cannabis and hemp by promoting education about the legalized plants. According to the director of the Hemp and Cannabis Fair, Naomi Forkash, the goal is to help normalize cannabis and hemp. Our hope by bringing the Hemp and Cannabis Fair to Fairbanks is, again, to educate and really to help normalize cannabis. With it becoming fully legal in Alaska, there's still a lot of rules rolling out, and I know licenses are just now being accepted. So we're hoping to kind of start the process of normalizing cannabis and really making it something that people aren't as scared of. Already, the THC fair has taken place in the state of Oregon at eight separate locations before it makes its debut in Fairbanks. Fairbanks North Star Borough Assembly member Lance Roberts commented saying that bringing such an event to Fairbanks is a bad idea. I think it's going to be very propaganda driven and I can't see that anything's good because they're not going to tell people the truth about it. Um, if you have ever talked to uh, marijuana advocates, to them it's like a miracle drug. There's people on Facebook who thinks it cures <laughs> Ebola. I mean, there's nothing you can say bad about it ever that they will ever admit. And so I, I think they're just going to feed people a lot of propaganda. In accordance with the Alaska State Recreational Marijuana Guidelines, there will be no on-site consumption of cannabis promoted or allowed. Forecast commented saying that cannabis users are not just for the people who view it as a consumption. I think it's a really good idea to normalize cannabis. It is legal recreationally, and there's still a lot of fear out there, and there's a lot of negative publicity around cannabis. And I think it's important for people to know that cannabis users are not just the hippies in the corner. Cannabis users include doctors, lawyers, very career-oriented people. This non-consumption event is restricted to adults 21 or older. Robert says cannabis is not just a highly addictive drug, but also a drug that has been studied for consensus. It's a highly addictive drug. The consensus on all the scientific studies, this has been studied more than any other mind-altering drug, is, is shown to be incredibly bad, bad for the health, bad for the psychological health, and it's not good for our community. It's going to hurt more people and it doesn't help anybody. All it is is just a way for people to escape from having to take care of the rest of their life. This is David Spindler reporting.